We are back for our final lesson about essential beliefs. This is our final week to focus on what we truly believe about very important topics to be a follower of Jesus. Today, we're gonna to talk about the Holy Spirit. This is sometimes a hard concept for people. You can understand the powerful God who created all things. You can see how Jesus is God's son sent to rescue us, but the Holy Spirit? Jesus promised the Holy Spirit would come and help his followers after he went back to heaven. He kept his promise. Jesus taught his followers for 40 days after his resurrection. Then he told them that they had work to do. They needed to tell others about him and that he was their rescuer. He told his followers that he would send a special gift to help them, the Holy Spirit. Then Jesus left them and went into heaven. His followers waited for many days. Then one day they heard a mighty wind and something filled the room. Fire appeared and looked like it was resting on each one of their heads. They began to praise God in other languages. The Holy Spirit, their helper, had come. Because they spoke in other languages, strangers heard about God and Jesus, their rescuer. Many people became followers of Christ. Today, the Holy Spirit is our helper too. But what you heard in the story about fire and speaking in other languages only happened when the Holy Spirit came for the first time. Today, receiving the Holy Spirit is a little more subtle. No fire on your head, but the work the Holy Spirit does to help us is still the same. Once you become a follower of Christ, once you choose Him as your rescuer, you receive the Holy Spirit. Let's see if this chart will help us understand what the Holy Spirit does to help us. Do you see those words at the top of the chart? Repent means to feel sorry for or to have regret. Believe means to have confidence or faith in something. You must repent of your sins and believe that Jesus is your rescuer to become a follower of Jesus. Then after you become a follower, you will still sin. So repenting and believing happen over and over and over again. The Holy Spirit is our helper in this stage. The Holy Spirit helps us see and feel that what we are doing is sin. The Holy Spirit helps us to see that what we are doing is not following God not obeying God. When we don't follow God, we are not letting him be our God. Then after you become a follower, the Holy Spirit helps us live in a way that shows we love God, we, that we want to follow him and we want him to be our God. If we believe that God is our king and we allow him to be our king, we will listen and obey him. The Holy Spirit works inside us to help us to listen and obey. If we believe that God is our Father and we enjoy the love that He shows for us every day in every way, we will love and serve others. The Holy Spirit works inside of us to help us to love and serve others. If we believe that God is our Savior, that He sent Jesus to rescue us, then we will tell others that, that good news so that they can be rescued too. The Holy Spirit works inside of us to help us go and tell others. Do you see how the Holy Spirit is our helper? God promised to send a helper for us, and He did. So our essential beliefs about the Holy Spirit are, the Holy Spirit is God, the Holy Spirit makes us aware of our need for Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit gives Christians the power to share the good news, to obey God, and to understand God's truth. Let's read these verses that tell us about the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, 19 through 20, it says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I commanded you, and behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Galatians 5, 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Let's worship God through praying and thank Him for sending us a helper. Father God, we thank you that you kept your promise. You didn't leave us here alone to try to figure things out by ourselves, 
but you sent a helper in the person of the Holy Spirit. And we thank you for the Holy Spirit that helps guide us and teach us and helps us to grow. And more than anything, helps us to love you well. So we're grateful and we're thankful. And we give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Until next time.